Hi guys, it's Scott's Plays. Welcome back to Persona 4. This is episode 18. Happy Monday. And it's Monday in the game. So, because of where we finished in the last episode, we are now going to have our midterms. First thing, we have midterms for the next four days. You cannot do anything else. You cannot up any social links. You cannot study. You cannot read your book. You cannot do anything. Ex uh, you can't go on the TV. All you can do, all you do is go to school, midterm, go to school, midterm, go to school, midterm. So this is a midtermy episode, but they only take about a minute total. I'm hurrying to school. There might be a a cutscene on the way, but I think we just get there. So if you have been paying attention in your classes, I am not even kidding. You are supposed to know what he's talking about in those classes. Hi, Chie. Um, because the questions you answered to raise your knowledge are the questions that are on the exam. So try to remember. Have you studied? No. But I only studied like once. So we're okay. Um, these exams, I feel like you want to have your knowledge at third tier, which would be probably, unless you studied every day, it's probably impossible to do by this point, unless you've done a new game plus. What time is a thief most likely to sneak into your house? We just did this, and it's 8 a.m. Yay, I've chosen the correct answer. What does BC stand for? Before Christ. Look at my little musical note. <laughs> and now it's Tuesday. Day two. Which of the following is a perfect number? Um, six is a perfect number. Sorry. I got a kind of important text message just now. Um, hooray! Six is a perfect number! Alright, so, let's see. Let me, let me make sure. Two L's, two N's. Two L's, two N's. Two L's, two N's. That looks wrong, but it's apparently right. I just typed it into my phone. <laughs> Alright, it's Wednesday! What happens on Wednesday? Is it more exams? Guess what, everybody? It's more exams! Who advocated the greatest minds capable of... Descartes. Which mountain has the highest elevation in the solar system? Mount Olympus! Hooray! Alright, now on Thursday you don't have to answer any questions. Thursday is sort of a... Not a random element. Thursday it just says stuff based on your knowledge. I was familiar with every question! I am confident about my answers! Hooray! So, maybe we'll get the high score. Um, if we don't get the high score, we'll at least be in the top ten. Blah, 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 blah. It's finally It sure over. is. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. I bet they over. do. Hey, don't I'm you feel down. better, though, Chie? So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? And see, I want to know what this sentence was. Um, I put her sorrowful expression. And what did she put? Oh, crap, see, then I got it what, wrong. What about what sentence had a sorrowful table. expression and the rice cakes on top of the table? Rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? All right, I'm giving up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. Geography is what I am, like, really bad at. I have no idea where anything is. 
What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the summer? Oh, summer's... is he asking? Is she asking me? I picked Olympus Mons. Oh, seriously? I chose the wrong one. It's okay. One. We we still love you, Chi. Oh, I put that one too. Well, you too. And it's probably the right answer. Me and Yukiko, we're smart cookies. Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see Is them. Is that a thing that they Jeez. do in Japan? Do they put the grades where everyone could see them? Like, we did that some in college, but they were by ID number, not by, not like with your name. Hey, did you hear? A TV, a TV station. station's filming here in town. Tell me about it, knowledgeable student. They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. Well, what else happens here? No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? Oh, all right. Biker, biker gangs. gangs. We totally have a ton of biker gangs. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. And the bikers have meetings. You know, Yosuke was going to get his motorcycle license. He could be in a biker gang. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but... But what, is it going... Oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna rain. It's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I, I guess your place is too far away to hear them. Ruckus. Let's say the word ruckus together. Ready? One, two, three. Ruckus. Isn't it a fun word? Ruckus. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I hear some guys at the school are part of it too. Which guys? Is it me? Is it Scuzz? Coon, Scuzz, Bucket? Yeah. I know there are some rumors about a first year student here who's a total hellraiser. I'm a total hellraiser. One of the guys working at Juness said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. If it's his first year in high school, ever since middle school is last year. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did... did you say he was a legend? Oh, Yukiko's one of those bad boy girls. Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. Okay, so a couple of things to do today before we do other things. Firstly, we worry about our poor loading. We talk to this girl. Um, yeah, I read it. That's okay. All right, so she's gonna go confess. And when we're done with that, going up to the roof. Now, if you guys will recall, this girl, one of our um, little friends, wanted to know about her. He wants to know about her hobbies. She likes animals. Um, we'll come back and talk to her another time. And now we're going to give away our possessions. And then we're going to go to soccer practice, in case you were wondering what's going to happen. We're not going to play practice, we're going to soccer practice. So, we're going to go to our classroom. This girl wants an angel statue. You will have the angel statue. And she gives some chess keys. Next, we're going to go to the practice building. Where... Was it you? He wanted a Ritz wire. And he gives some Olympic tape. I don't remember what that even does.
I'm going to the wrong place, I think. Was the weird boy? Nah, he must be on the first floor. Weird boy. Are you weird boy? Hmm. He might only be there sometimes. Or he might be on the second floor of the practice building, but I don't think he is, so we'll have to give him his later. And we'll go to soccer practice today. Yeah, we're going to the soccer club. Oh no, my computer's falling asleep. Yay! Let's kick the ball! My diligence has increased! I want my diligence to, like, actually go up. Hey, Bucket! Tear down the gold and clean up before you leave, I. Why should I? Will that make my courage go up? Oh, okay. I'll do it. Hi, Daisuke! How are you? What? It's okay, Daisuke. I can handle it. Hey. Not really. Look at his weird pants. I'm still doing it, whether you like it or not, <sighs> Daisuke. You think so? Yay. Okay, so all three of us together are going to take down the goals. And then I bet we go to right, Aya. Let's do it. Who polishes soccer balls? See, see, Daisuke, it's not so bad. Thank you for your help. Let's hugs. <laughs> um, yeah. We are. They have consideration towards me. Clunk. <laughs> My fellow athletes. Alright guys, um, that's not the end of this episode, because we're not very far into it, but I just wanted to mention, um, before I, I finish up this section, oh, first year, <laughs> oh, Daisuke didn't notice, he's not into girls, he's into soccer. Um, yeah, I want to work on my game. Right. No, oh, poor Ko. Ah <sighs> uh, ha 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 ha. Anyway, so what I was saying was that okay. when you're Let's put some once you've got several social links and you need to decide which ones to prioritize, what I would say is your teammates and. Dojima-san and Nanako. Um, your teammates, just because you get so many extra benefits, and Dojima and Nanako, the opportunities to increase that social link end before the others. Welcome. Alright, so we could make lunch. We could hang out with Dojima. We could not hang out with Nanako. So... Because there are so few chances to make lunch, 
we're gonna make it now. We'll have, you know, the thing about Dojima is if someone's in the TV, he's not home and you can't increase his social link. But anytime someone's not in the TV, he will pretty much be willing to talk to you every single day. So, instead of that, we're gonna make lunch. Because I'm not concerned about getting his high enough. His will. Nanako's is harder, actually. So we have the ingredients to make beef stew. I think you simmer it with a drop lid. Oh, good. Well simmered beef stew. Just what I always wanted. Alright, so it's Friday! It's Friday the 13th, oh no! Excuse me, got the hiccups. Um... I like to eat with... Yosuke. I don't have any magician personas though. Yummy and Tommy Yosuke, we're eating well simmered beef stew. Oh my gosh, it's That's so good. good. Oh, good. Also, you never have your social links increase at lunch. Because there's only a few times in the game you can even make lunch, they can't count on you doing it with everybody. So, it's Friday. Um, with that in mind, who do we have social links with today? Nobody from our team. We don't have practice today. Let's see if we can find Demon Statue Guy. I know he's around here somewhere. Like on. I thought he was on the third floor of the classroom. Is it you? Are you Demon Statue Guy? Is he on the first floor of the classroom? Am I just missing him? See, you're not Demon Statue Guy. The only other place he could be is on the second floor of the practice building because I know he was in a building. Ah! In a, no, that's Ritz Wire Guy. Where's Demon Statue Guy? Those are the girls who gossip loudly. Or whatever it is that they say. Is it you? Okay, well, let's go into town. Can't try to sell our demon statues yet, but we are going to go to the central shopping district, and there is something that we want to do there. We're going to go date carrying. Yes. It's going to be a fun time gonna make our understanding go up which is what you need for tutoring although the tutoring job is not available yet oh Utah he doesn't want to play house understanding oh good my understanding has changed from basic to kindly you need, I think, more than kindly to be able to do the thing. Oh, okay, I can leave. I got 5,000 yen! Super duper! Uh oh! It's Yuta's mother! But she's his stepmom. That's okay. Hi, how are you? Oh, hello. I totally am. Uh, yeah. 
You okay? <laughs> I am. I'm super mature. Probably because I'm not a high school student, but he's a high school student. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. I hate that little boy. I want to punch him in the face. It's okay. I have heard that. I don't know why I'm so surprised. Why don't you turn the light off? Just give it some time. That's okay. You know, when you spend all your time with kids, you really feel like because you know I work at a at a school and a lot of the time you know after after a while I'm like I need to find an adult I need to talk to an adult about adult things you know I don't mean like adult things I just mean things I don't want to hear about what your mommy said you know you need someone up here sometimes and there's nothing wrong with that Alright, so, a faint bond growing between us and Yuta's mother. We know what a faint bond means! I missed it. I am now art me! So, uh, Yuta's mother, her, it gives us her name. Her name is, uh, Ari, I think. And she is of the Temperance Arcana number 14. 14 is my lucky number, however... Um, I don't really- this is probably one of my least favorite social links. It's just not any fun to have. It's a boring little story. But, if we want all the social links- Ari, Ari Minami. Minami. We want all the social links, we have to get this one. Okay. Go get your- your child, woman. It was nice seeing- What's Young on the TV? Men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. This is what passes for news around here. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. The hell are you punks doing here? Doesn't he look nice? I think he looks kind of like Spike from Buffy. Um, and I love... Um, Spike. Spike is probably my favorite Buffy character. I love him to pieces. I have met that actor and it was like the greatest experience of my life. And he was like, hi, how are you? And I'm like, I'm fine. I can't believe I get to meet you. And he was like, uh-huh. Um, and he was nicer than that. But <laughs> anyway, that's, that's who he looks like. I'll put a picture. <gasps> that voice. He knows who it is. Show. Get bent. Oh, what a nice little boy. Still up to the same old tricks. Yes, he's such a sweet little child. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. If you're a police officer, you don't want your children to know anyone that you know through work. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. That's why... He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. Uh, see, his name is Kanji Tatsumi. That's why I thought that the shrine was named the Tatsumi Shrine. But it's like the Tatsushime Shrine, which is almost the same. But I thought he got into a high school and started attending class. He got into a high school? Like, here you just go to high school. Hmm. <sighs> Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. We have had mention of the textiles before now. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. So he is in fact not a biker. He actually beat up all the bikers. Poor little guy. Because <laughs> they kept his mother up. He's a sweet kid. It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Oh, the weather report 
It's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. It's going to rain tomorrow. I wonder if that's relevant to my life in any way. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. Look at, look at the things that she thinks about. Oh no, it's raining. Whoa, it started raining. The weather report is always right. That means the show's probably going to be on tonight. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. We hope we don't see anyone. I hope not, too. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Perhaps. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. Got, Got it. it. Um, your after school time is taken from you on this day, which doesn't really matter because it's raining, so nobody will want a social link with you. Anyway. Welcome. Nanako's here, but we can't hang out with her because it's raining. And when it's raining, you have to watch the Midnight Channel. But let's check the refrigerator. Nanako has brought back a science project. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. My courage greatly increased. My courage has changed from reliable to brave. I think that means I'm level 3. I don't feel well. Oh, well. I guess I don't get to watch the Midnight Channel. Anyway, that is going to be the end of today's episode. I will see you guys on Wednesday for more Persona 4. Okay, I love you guys very much. Bye!